Hi, I'm Angie. I want to welcome you to National Indoor RV Centers, where we specialize in the sales, storage, service, and detailing of only high-end, new, and used coaches. So basically, we do it all. Hi, I'm Angie with National Indoor RV Centers, and today I'm so excited to show you the 2022 Winnebago Era. So the era is for that traveler that wants to go in stylish, the stylish entertainer, wants to tailgate and have all the luxuries and comforts of home. So it's really more elegant interior, a little bit roomier. We, this is 24 feet, three inches, and this is the Tenorite metallic gray. The other option is silver. A beautiful van, can't wait to go through the entire outside and inside with you. The Era sits on the VS30 Mercedes chassis with a 3.0 liter six cylinder diesel engine. From the top to the bottom, I'm just gonna start very center. We have the radio antenna, Right in the center of the dash, you've got a little triangle with the top cut off. That's gonna be your camera. It's gonna help with the traffic, traffic sign assist and adaptive cruise control. So lots of safety features that Winnebago has packed into this coach for you. You also have blind spot monitoring and collision mitigation, just to name a few. I'll even go through more when I'm actually at the dash. And these sensors down here on the front of the uh, front bumper are all sensors that are gonna aid in that collision mitigation, adaptive cruise control. Um, that is not one of them. That's actually, if you ever were to get stuck and needed to be towed out, uh, that's where you would hook up here. Hopefully you never need that. Also, there's a sensor right in, uh, behind this panel here that's gonna to contribute to those other safety features as well. We even have lane detection, uh, lots of things to help you remain safe and uh, comfortable when you're driving. A few other features that are really cool that come standard on the Mercedes chassis are the rain sensing windshield wipers, so they'll turn on automatically. They also have the windshield wiper fluid inside the windshield wiper itself. It's pretty cool looking, I'll show that to you in a little bit. And then we have the high performance LED headlights. And then here in the corner, we have the cornering fog lights. So you're coming into a campground late at night. Uh, you don't want to wake up everyone, but you want to be able to see what's around you. You can turn on those cornering fog lights. They will turn with the vehicle when you're below 15 miles per hour. So that's really neat. And then this is a really handy um, step. So say I want, I've been driving all day. My windshield is littered with, you know, dead bugs and I want to get those off. It's going to be almost impossible to get from the door to get to the center. So you can step up right here and clean off your windshield. It's super easy. So under the hood. Now Mercedes makes a really like hefty, heavy hood. <laughs> so you've got your little holder here in the corner. And then let's start right to left. So we've got a big space here. This is normally where your chassis battery will be. It's actually right um, at the opening of the door when you get in the driver's seat underneath your feet. But you can still, if you need to jump your coach from here, this is where you do it. Your ground is here and the positive is here. Brake fluid, windshield wiper fluid, oil fill, and you'll notice there's no oil dipstick because you're gonna get a really accurately reading um, at the dash of the oil level. So that, you don't, you don't need the dipstick engine air intake, coolant, and DEF fill. So this is your diesel exhaust fluid. This is a five gallon tank. And just remember DEF doesn't like sunlight or heat, and it has a shelf life of about a year. So just something to monitor when you're filling your uh, five gallon tank. And you're probably wondering how far you can go on that five gallon tank. You can go about 5,000 miles. But again, there is a readout um, on your dash, you can customize to have it right there on the front of your dash. It will give you very accurate information about how um, full your DEF is. The Era comes with the high spec 
aluminum styled rims. They look really nice. You'll notice that the era is lifted. So this is the four x four era. You can also get it in a two x two. When you do the four x four, you get that four extra inches of clearance. Um, you can do a little bit more off-roading with this than you can with the two x two. Another thing to note too, on the two x two, you do get that powered mid ship entrance door. On the four x four, that will be manual. Nice um, side view mirrors. So the side view mi mirrors with any kind of RV really help you out. These are nice, they're internally controlled. You've got the turn signal here in the mirror and you're also gonna have your blind spot monitor indicator. It's a triangle and say I'm trying to pass someone and there's someone in that lane, a little yellow triangle will light up and I'll show you that during the test drive. So if you're watching this video, you're doing your research, you're interested in buying an RV. So if you wanna know more about Winnebago, um, its history, everything that it manufactures, I do a Winnebago factory tour video that I think you would find really informative and helpful in your search. Uh, one of the really cool things that I'll point out during that video is that Winnebago makes 75% of what's in this van and in its coaches. So it's really an RV manufacturer, not a parts assembler. And that's a big deal. That means that they can customize their tank sizes. That means they make their own furniture. Um, and along with that, you'll get a little tag on the back of that furniture. If something happens to it, you can replace it. The same with your holding tanks. Um, it's just, that is, that's phenomenal. And it's really cool to see how they do all that. So check out that video. One of the things that they make here for the era is they've taken off the standard running board. A lot of times those running boards are kind of narrow and um, you know, if you're not paying attention, you can easily kind of tumble out of your van. <laughs> I've done it. Um, but they've taken their running board, beefed it up. So new fiberglass running board, it's much wider, um, which is a big deal when you're stepping out of this. So wider, stronger, all made, um, by Winnebago in its fiberglass facility. I'm gonna open this front door here so we can just talk about some of the things that are right inside the front of the van. Again, you'll notice here the running boards, how nice you've got basically two nice steps to get in and out of the van. And have got a little panel here that we can cover, uncover. Here is a low point drain. You, always, you also have two on the other side of the van. And this is where you would fill um, that winterization fluid and a freeze. This is a freshwater inlet. So let's say that you are dry camping um, or you're at a place where you don't have a city water fill. This is where you could put that portable potable water. See a little tongue twister? I did it. Um, you can fill that here. Also, if you wanted to sanitize your freshwater tank at all, you would do that here. And your freshwater tank is 25 gallons. Right inside the front door, you have a D-ring. And then if you look all the way over to the driver's side, there's a second D-ring. And then in the middle, we've got our fire extinguisher. Now the D-rings are nice to have in there in case you wanna bring any toys or gear, something that you wanna secure down while you're traveling so it's not rolling back and forth in that big aisle. So there's three floor plans for the era, the 70B, which is what we're reviewing today, the 70X and the 70A. So in the 70, X and the B, you have this third chair option. Now, I love it. That way we can bring some along with us. If you wanna take the grandkids, if you wanna take a, a child or a friend, it's nice to have that extra seat belt here right in front by the cockpit area so you can actually have a conversation. Now, say we've got extra gear we wanna take. Um, so we don't want the chair there and no one's coming with us. It's just the two of us that are traveling. This is really easy to remove. So let me show you how you do that. You're just gonna push this center level lever down and then you're gonna bring this one forward, all the way forward. And then you can see how it will easily come out. Now all I need is a little extra muscle, <laughs> a little extra help to just get the seat in and out. But it's super easy to do. Throw it in the garage and then throw your gear in here and go have some fun. Right behind the chair, we have the leg for the table, and I'll show you how that works once we're inside the coach. We have our awning extend and retract buttons, our coach battery uh, disconnect on and off, two USB charging ports. 
It's a beautiful day today, but as you might have seen, there's a few bugs flying in and out of the van. So I can just put the screen out that easy. It's really sturdy. It's running on that track nicely. Uh, and I have a screened in porch. So I mentioned the awning buttons inside. You can also control those from the app. So you can just hit the extend. So look at this nice awning, provides a nice amount of shade. Now, if it's in the evening, you want that shade and you want a little light too, you can turn on your LED lights here um, from the multiplex lighting switch just inside the door. Mid van, here we have the exhaust for your engine. Solar input here, so you have two 100 watt solar panels that come standard on the era. If you want to add extra solar power, like today, we're in a beautiful shaded spot, so my solar panels probably aren't getting a lot of power coming through those. If I want to do a portable one, walk it out here to the sunshine, plug it in, I can add up to 200 more watts of solar, so a total of 400. 12 volt and co um, coax cable and two 110 outlets. Check out the beautiful big windows that you get with the era. Love that because when you're inside the van, you're gonna feel like you're outside if you want to keep everything open. We've got speakers here and our passenger side security light. And note that is like 10 LED lights in that passenger side, side security light, not just one little bulb that you know barely does anything. You're gonna really be able to see with that on. And then the speakers are nice. So you can go ahead and pipe out the music from inside to the outside. So here in the back of the van, a lot of things to talk about. Our little disc here at the very top is our over the air antenna. Just below that, you're gonna have the rear view camera. So you're gonna be able to see when you're backing up, Really nice when you're parking this to be able to have that camera. Our uh, brake light here, brake lights and it's to the side. Now we've got a nice sturdy ladder here. This is great if you wanna get up there and uh, wash off your solar panels. Now you're not gonna be able to have access to the whole coach obviously from the back, but it, Winnebago makes it really nice. There's a locking me mechanism here, so you don't need to worry about anyone stealing your ladder. You can lock that in place. Just make sure you, sure you set this somewhere where you remember to lock it back on, because you don't want to lose this. Sort of like the gas cap. Now the ladder will support up to 225 pounds, so I can access anything here from the back of the coach, or I can just take it out easily, and it's very light, so not too heavy. And let's say I'm gonna go right up front here. I'm just gonna easily hook that on. Make sure it's secure here down at the bottom. And then you can head right up and you can easily uh, wash off your solar panels. There's also another input here for another solar panel. So if you can find the real estate up here to add another solar panel, go for it. You also have your roof access port up here and you've got cross members. One, two, three, four, five, six cross members. So each cross member should support 40 pounds. So six times 40 is 240 pounds is about what you could put up here as long as you can find the place to put it. Cause it is uh, pretty full up here with your max um, air vent and your solar panels and your AC unit. Mercedes has given us a 5,000 pound hitch and we've got our seven way right here for lighting system. And then below here we have the quick connect for our LP tank. A little bit of information, the generator on the era is a propane run generator. And then you've got a 67 pound propane tank. Behind the hitch, you can see your spare tire and your generator. Inside the rear doors, first of all, they open nice and wide. You've got that cargo area there for extra gear. Same on the other side. Nice space here to store the table because you're always wondering where you're gonna put that. So easy and it's so light. I love that and you can see that it's gonna insert into that leg I showed you earlier, but we'll put that together. So, love that. 
little option. This right here will be the base of your bed. So it's gonna basically lengthen this and this become the base of the bed once we take the sofa down. And then it stores nicely away. And we're not done yet. Check out the storage down here. Quite a bit of storage underneath the sofa slash bed and even more storage. Your inverter is behind this and there's one available 110 outlet. So if there's something that you needed to plug in at the rear of the van, you could do it there. Not done yet. We've got the cassette shades. So if you just want a screened in back porch, look at that. Great cross breeze. Today is a perfect day for that. I'm gonna open up my side door, put my screen out and then do this screen, open up my windows and I'm gonna be perfectly comfortable in there with, that, with no AC, just with the cross breeze. Now, if I wanna block that out, I just, I need a little help vertically, <laughs> but you just push that up and now you've got your blackout. You need a little privacy and then still want some air. You've got both, best of both worlds right there. Around the corner, we've got the exhaust for our generator. Up above is this driver's side security light. Again, that's a 10 bulb LED light. And I'll show you where that uh, switch is for that in just a second. So here is our external shower. So we could just hook up our shower hose here, hot and cold, and you get a, you know, wash off, say you've spent the day at the beach or you've been out hiking, you don't wanna take that into your beautiful van. So wash out out here, really nice. 30 amp uh, shore power cord plug-in. Now when you plug in and you have power going to the coach, you're gonna be able to see a little blue light here in this half moon. Exhaust for your Truma system, which is your on-demand hot water and furnace. Below here, there is the sewer hose that you can hook up and that's a thin sewer hose. So I am gonna tell you, you are definitely gonna to want to put some microblaze in your toilet. Microblaze puts little microorganisms in your system. So everything when you go to flush your tanks comes out liquid, which is gonna be a bonus with this uh, sewer hose. And then your T-bars, the gray is here and that's a 19 gallon gray tank and your black T-bar is all the way in the back. That's a nine gallon black tank. Water pump, you can turn on here, your drain pump so you can pump out the black and gray tank. This is your driver's side uh, security light. Cable input. This is your tank fill and your high and low point drains. City water fill here. And black tank flush. Next to the wet bay is the LP tank. Again, that's a 67 pound LP tank. I bet you're wondering where you fill the fuel tank if you have never seen a B-Van video before <laughs> on a Mercedes chassis. It's right inside the front door. There's your diesel fuel fill for your 25 gallon tank. I have the captain's chairs turned around, so when we go inside, you can see how big that makes your living room. Underneath the captain's chair here are the fuses. And then this is right here where you would access your chassis batteries. They're gonna be sitting right in this area here. We have the pole here for your front hood that you just pull forward. Love the outside of the era, but I can't wait to show you the inside. So I really think that I have the best job in the RV industry because I get to review all of these coaches and every day as I'm doing a video, I'm like, oh, this, this is the one I want. This is the one I want. I want them all actually. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great just to like pick and choose every day? Anyway, the era is awesome. I love it just because it's luxurious. It's comfortable. Um, I'm going to have a great time traveling in this. So just look at the beauty of the cabinetry. It's the Techniform cabinets. Um, those are one of the things that Winnebago doesn't make, surprisingly, but they get these from Italy. So they're lightweight. They're beautiful. They've got nice latches on them. Um, but I just love the way it looks. Sort of looks like a 
you know fancy jet in here with these pretty cabinets this is this is the fusion interior package I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the upper cabinets and the storage that you get in the 70B. So nice deep storage here. Now this doesn't actually open because it would hit this cabinet here, but you do have access to all of that space. So it's quite a bit of space. This big cabinet, right next to that we have our smoke detector. And then I love these cabinets because there's no handle on them so they really look sleek and then i want you to note here the aluminum aluminum this is one of those things i talk about in the winnebago factory tour video is that they e-coat everything so you're not going to have rust um, it's a really cool process and i show that in detail so make sure you watch that and then in all their cabinets if they have a cabinet on the wall it is backed into steel so literally I could do a pull up from this and it's not going to move. More storage. You're easily going to have plenty of space for your clothes and everything. That's what I'm thinking and gear. And uh, in the back here, we've got the shades for the blackout shades for the front, but they, everything is just nicely. And we've got a rug that goes up front um, in the driver's area. I'm going to keep it there just so the, the owner of this pretty coach has a brand new rug. Now this is kind of your whole like radio system. You've got CD player, DVD player, speakers here and here. So this is your entertainment system. And then you've got your TV right here, which is going to be great for viewing from the bed or from the sofa. Inside the AV cabinet, you've got two 110 outlets, HDMI, input and cable and then your over-the-air um, booster for your basically local stations big cabinet here so we can make that a wardrobe lots of space we can even store some of maybe our bigger appliances there say an instapot if we haven't found another spot for it and then this whole cabinet here beautiful beautiful cabinet i love the cabinets in this is going to be our bathroom i'll show you that in just a second but before we do that let's go over this control panel area right here this is the precision circuit uh, control panel so i can do so many functions here in the van from this control panel and even better you can download the precision plex app and now I can do everything from my phone that I can do from this monitor here. So I can be outside, I can do the lighting, sofa area, galley, front, ceiling, rear ceiling, bed, sofa, porch, master. How cool is that? Go back to home, I can look at my tank levels. That's pretty handy to have at my fingertips, right? So pretty much everything I can do on here, I can do from my phone. So let me go through each button. Our lights, ceiling, cab, bath, porch, awning, master, sofa, galley, front ceiling, rear ceiling. Now if I press and hold on these, I can dim the lights as well. Tank level, so again we have a 25 gallon fresh tank, 19 gallon gray tank, nine gallon black tank, our coach batteries, chassis batteries, and our LP tank. I can move the sofa bed up and down from here and also from the control in the back of the van. Awnings in and out. So power control system, that's basically going to be the area where I can watch what kind of uh, power is coming into the coach and shed the load if needed. Well, oh, also back here we can do the auto gen start. So we can set those settings here, enable quiet, quiet time, manual op operation, uh, all that can be done there. Don't wanna skip that. Water pump on, temperature. Yeah, it's too hot in here. <laughs> Need to cool it down. And then we can just unlock the panel from here. 
and start over. And this will black out, so it's not gonna keep you up at night. Just below the precision circuit monitor, we have the inverter, con inverter control, so we can turn that on and off from here. I'm typically gonna keep that off unless I'm using my outlets. This is a 1000 watt inverter. We have the thermistor for the Truma system here. Then we have the multiplex lighting panel here for our front ceiling light, cab overhead light, bath light, porch light, awning light, and our master light on and on. I love a master light. Kill everything at once or turn everything on at once. Thermistor for our AC unit. Truma monitor here. So I'm just gonna push the button here, go into the RV and I can turn on my furnace from here. I wanna make sure that's off right now. We can go to our hot water. We can turn that on. We can be in eco mode, hot, boost. This is where we can do our propane plus our heating element, fan speed control, set a timer, clock, and then we can totally customize the screen here. I wanted to show you that you can easily have three for dinner in the era. So I put in the table, it's super easy to do. Just a couple of things to talk about. Not only can it can be for dinner, I can open up the door at the screened in porch. So literally if I'm facing the ocean, we're having dinner, oceans right there, or mountains, whatever. Also, if I'm gonna be working from the van, I would probably choose this seat right here. I've got great, space here for my computer and again my view it's all about the view so you can work in comfort and luxury uh also maybe actually i'll change and work from here because i can kick my feet up and look out the door just super nice now i want to show you how easy this table goes in and out so it just comes right out of that now the pull is separate and it just so you can put it in just like this and then like I said so light which is great because you're not sweating and <laughs> trying to thread that through with a really heavy table so it's nice and sturdy once you get it on here and just kind of twist that pole into the into the spot and then it's really easy to take out and I can use this in the back as well I went ahead and put the table in the rear of the van so you can see how you can easily be enjoying the sofa here, kick up your feet, or if you've got guests, you can turn the table so that everyone can have a little piece of the table. It's just really easy and so light and easy to use. I really, really like it. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and show you again, the lightness is a huge factor. Light and strong because this becomes the base for my bed, so take out pull there and now I'm going to first put my extra little piece in that's going to go front and center that just slides right in there so it's nice and secure second piece in put that up there lift that cushion a little bit and then just push those together now I've got the base of my bed and typically I do that from the other side so I don't need to hop over it now, but I'm going to hop over it. So I'm just going to easily come through here and now I can put the bed down from right here or I, I can go back up to my control panel here and go to my bed and take that down. So now I'm just going to take the two side cushions and fill in the last little gap there. It's easiest just put those down together. And check out that nice big bed. And what I really love about it is that I can lay here, look out at the stars, put my screen down, and I've got all this fresh air to sleep with. I love it. Check out the cool windows that we get in the Travato. So window, we get to open it here. We've got a screen and it just sort of disappears. You pull out the little lever here and you just crank that window right open and then you just push it back away and it disappears again. 
nice thing about that too is you can also close your MCD shades. So you've got the night blackout shades. You could still keep a little bit of that window open. And you've got the windows that it could be raining outside. Who loves the smell of fresh rain? I do. <laughs> so with these windows, you can have them open during a rainstorm. We also have the opening windows here in the back. So this is going to be great for sleeping, cross ventilation. And then of course you can open up your back doors and have that full screen for cross ventilation. You can use a blackout. We've got the MCD shades throughout the coach as well on the windows so that you can really make this almost like a cave back here. The sofa bed is really nice and com comfortable. You have the ultra leather finish here and you can you can set how much you want the the back to lean back just by you know putting the bed down or up you've got three seat belts so two three-point harnesses and then the lap belt in the middle and you can use your little benches there as a foot rest so super comfortable as i watch tv just hang out in the back and also have the cup holders here on both sides we have two 110 outlets on this side of course these are going to be our cushions and they just so you know they velcro right in so they're not going to be sliding around while you're traveling the other thing i want to tell you about these i mentioned it but if something were to happen to this cushion and i need to replace it you never rip off these tacks this is all the information you need to give to winnebago they can make you another one just like it uh, that's another cool thing about them being an RV manufacturer. They actually can make you replacement holding tanks. Basically, everything, if I open the cabinet door, they usually have the sticker there. They, you can replace everything. Down below, we have the breaker box, which is hidden nicely behind this pretty panel. Our LP gas alarm. On the other side, we have our fuse box. Here on the bench, just off of the kitchen area, we have two USB ports, two 110 outlets, and another multiplex uh, system. So we've got the galley overhead light, the sofa up and down. So I can adjust that right from here. Rear ceiling light, sofa overhead light, and master light. Speaking of lights, we have uh, reading lights for the bed too. So right here in the back, you just push this one time, you get a nice blue light, soft light, and you can direct that. Now, if I want to have a little bit of a brighter light, I push and hold. Nice and bright, it's going to illuminate a lot more space there. And then to turn it off, just one more push. And you've got those on both sides of the bed. Again, your speakers. Just above me, we've got the CO2 detector and then the Coleman Mach 10 MDQ, which is the uh, quiet or non-ducted quiet Coleman uh, AC unit and you can control that but from the precision circuit monitor or from the app that I showed you earlier now you do have these controls here so you can do like a direct dump if you want to really get the bedroom cold you want that air coming straight down you can adjust the ducts or you can push the air forward so it kind of cools the entire van Moving into the kitchen area, first of all, beautiful galley kitchen with the quarry on top. That's lovely. I do really like that. Convection microwave oven. So don't be afraid. You can bake in these. That's really what I do best, chocolate chip cookies. Um, <laughs> but I have seen loaves of bread baked in the convection microwave ovens. Nice size drawers. And I want to note that the dovetail construction of these doors. So, and you see they're nicely finished on the inside. Again, they make it look like everything is uniform in size and still give you access to that drawer. Big cabinet here. So lots of space. Again, you can probably put something, you know, your coffee pot, the Instapot, crock pot could go in here. And then all this drawer space. And I open every drawer because I know that's super important. You gotta see how deep, how big they are when you're doing this. A lot of times I know not everyone can come and visit us and see this in person, especially right now as, as it's hard to um, keep inventory on the lot. 
I hope this is helpful for you to see it. Again, beautiful counter space. We've got the backsplash windows. We've got our bamboo cutting board that, that, that seconds as a sink cover, stainless steel, one bowl sink. And then what's really nice, three burner cooktop propane stove. And when I go to clean this, I can just kind of sweep it all over into the sink and then wipe it up. So easy cleanup, and then you can just push that down when you're not using it. We've got the um, Levelor blinds here just because of the cooktop. So that's why we don't get the MCD shade on just this window. And then we've got the protector here because of the heat so that it won't damage our cabinets. One thing I forgot to tell you about the cabinets, they're soft close. So they don't close all the way, but what happens with most cabinets, once you go to shut them, they're gonna bang, right? Well, these are soft close and then you just press them to just secure the lock there or to secure the latch. One more MCD shade. So again, we can black out the coach and then just below the countertop, we got the two 110 outlets. Also notice the beautiful LED lighting. It's very just sleek and linear. And then we even have the accent here in the cabinetry so again that le that gives you that elegant feel inside 12 volt compressor driven refrigerator and freezer so look how big that is i also enjoy the refrigerator being up higher so i don't have to go down but look you've got enough room there you can take your bluebell ice cream across the country with you now to the bathroom so Really nice size bathroom on this Class B van. So the doors open really nice and wide. We've got a hook here for the towel and then nice mirror. Our shower head, which is an oxygenic shower head. So you're going to want to take a military shower in, the, in this van. Uh, you have 25 gallon fresh water tank. This is great because right here from the shower head, I can turn the water off and on so I can lather up. Turn off the water, lather up, and then turn it back on to rinse. I can also adjust the shower head or the stream of the water flow here, and then we can securely put that back up top. Now, if you're not going to use it as a you know bathroom or for travel, you want to hang up some items, hang them up here. You can even leave them here once you're once you're camping. Towel holder, which is nice, our stainless steel one bowl sink control for the shower toilet paper holder that they're going to protect that toilet paper bamboo mat here so that you're not going to slip when you're standing to shower we've got our toilet and we've got the sprayer now you can use this to add water to the toilet if you want to initially when you flush the toilet water is going to come in and help push everything through uh, if it doesn't get everything then you can use a nozzle to spray in the bowl and keep that nice and clean and then there's a drain just below the bamboo mat and you've also got a furnace in here so why that's really nice a if it's cold you're gonna have a nice warm shower you can have the furnace on and hot water but also if you know like yesterday let's do that I was out running um, started out just barely dripping by the time I was halfway into my run full-on downpour and I came back sopping wet so there's no washer and dryer in here but I could rinse out my clothes wring them out hang them in here turn on the furnace and that will help dry my clothing and we have a powered fan up top give us some ventilation in the bathroom it is a small space, so that's important. You can also see the clips here where your shower curtain will connect to keep all the water inside the bathroom. So just want to tell you how comfortable the Mercedes Captain co-captain's chairs are. Very, very comfortable. Nice, really soft ultra leather. So you're not going to stick to it. It's just kind of has a little bit of a suede feel, not totally, but then below is the lumbar support and you can do that, you know, like the high low lumbar and then the, you know, you can decide how much lumbar you want coming out. 
but it's really comfortable chair and really nice that you can have so much uh, exactness with that lumbar support. Right in the center underneath my seat is the lever that I have to push to make it so I can rotate the seat, but it's just that easy to do. All the other settings for the chair are on the door. Love this because they've given us the memory settings. So I can set it for me. The next one that you might wanna set that I would recommend is set it so that the chair is in the perfect position for you to rotate. Because a lot of times you've got to move the seat forward, turn it, move the seat back, turn it. So if you set the memory setting for just the perfect um, setting for the chair to rotate, you'll save yourself a lot of, of time and effort. Backrest forward and back, and then you can move the seat actually forward and back. Once you get it into the perfect setting, then go ahead and lock it into your memory. We have the heated seat option, which I love because um, my husband and I are constantly like not in agreement on the temperature. So at least I know I can be warm. <laughs> Unlock and lock. And then we've got a little storage spot here at top. Window controls. These are our um, side view mirrors that we can set so they're perfect for us. And then we just hit that, you know, hit whatever mirror we are wanting to set and then we can control it here. Now just below, we've got a spot for a drink and more miscellaneous items and then a big storage spot below. So light controls, running daylights, auto, I always just keep them on auto then I don't have to think about it, or you can go to your headlights. Now, this is the button you're going to want to push if you're coming to a campground at night. Uh, once you're below 15 miles per hour, these are your cornering headlights. And this light here is going to light up your brake lights in the back and a bulb on one bulb just on the driver's side. So it's kind of an alert light. Say if you have to pull off the side of the highway at night, it will illuminate the driver's side for safety. And this is going to brighten or dim your screen above. First lever is going to be for our windshield wipers, our rain sensing windshield wipers. So they will automatically go on or we can adjust them ourselves. So one of the cool features I talked about earlier, when you do your windshield wiper um, fluid, push it, it comes right out of the windshield wiper. Oh, so cool. <laughs> This is also our turn signal, left and right, and then our brights. Here are the paddle controls to manually shift. So if you want to downshift or shift up, you would do that right here. And I like that because everything's on the steering column. So I'm going to go to my home button and I can scroll through a lot of information up here on the dash. I'm going to go ahead and start with service and I can scroll DEF. I don't have any messages, first of all. Then I can go to my DEF. It's gonna give me a very accurate reading of how full my DEF tank is. So we're good there. 436 days until I need service. Engine oil level, very accurate reading here, so I have nothing to worry about. And particle filter, it will show me how full that is. Then I can scroll over to drive assist. I'll really get more information off this when I get to the uh, display screen over to my right. So I'm gonna skip that one. Trip information will give you a lot of good information. Scroll through it, current consumption, um, your driving habits, your co how constant you are, coasting, acceleration um, from start to Navigation, again, that's gonna give you more information on this screen. Your radio, you can click in here and you can scroll through a few preset stations. Media, this is where you can connect your aux. Uh, Bluetooth your phone in. Settings, click in. Vehicle, click that. And here you can set, um, set the sensitivity of your uh, windshield wipers or the rain sensor. So low, low sensitivity, standard, 
or very sensitive. I'm just going to keep it on standard back and just go to your display. So again, right now I'm not displaying my DEF level, but I want to. So I'm going to go click into this and swipe to where that stays on the screen because I like to have that information up all the time. So I'm just going to lock that in and go back. Now that's going to stay on my screen and then back to my home button. Cruise control on and off, hit the button up to set it. And then if you need to, you know, once you're in cruise control, you can adjust your speed right here. Resume and cancel. Once you're in the cruise control setting, you can also uh, change the following distance for your adaptive cruise control right here when you're driving. Center, we have our horn. We go to the home button and everything's gonna change over here. So I'm going to, I can scroll through the information. Let's start with our phone. This is where we can connect our device. Navigation, go ahead and put in our address and you can easily just scroll through anything on there that you need. And what's great about this is that everything is at your fingertips and that's really why Mercedes designed it this way so that your eyes are on the road and then you can go through a lot of this information really easily. Radio, so lock in here. I can scroll through my stations. Up top, down below. You can go to preset stations. You can mute the radio and then go to settings. So you can customize that. Media, this is where you can connect your aux cord or your Bluetooth, your music in. Info, click in, you can get information on your engine consumption and then your operator's manual just right there at your fingertips if you need it. Apps, so if you wanna add Spotify, whatever, you can browse through them there and add them. And then settings. So quick access settings, assistance. This is where you're gonna see um, different safety features that they've added to the chassis. So if your cameras, which are going to help you with parking, your traffic sign assist. So you see that it's actually going to read street signs, active lane keeping assist, active brake assist. So if you get too close in your following distance with your adaptive cruise control, collision mitigation, it's going to actively brake as needed for you. Attention assist, I think this one's really cool. See the little coffee cup? So it's monitoring the way you're driving from the time that you start driving. If it starts to change drastically, you're you know leaving your lane, um, they think you might be getting sleepy, it's going to give you a little alert to grab a cup of coffee or take a break. And blind spot assist. So lots of safety features. In fact, I believe there's 22 added safety features since the um, 2019 chassis came out. So with the upgraded um, chassis, you get all these extra features, new airbags as well. Just below the home menu here, voice command. So just click up for voice command. You can also just say, hey Mercedes, and ask whatever question you need help with. And below it goes to your favorites and you can customize what your favorites are and then scroll through those. Create a favorite right there, easy to do. Volume control for the radio and you can go all the way to the bottom for mute and then answer or hang up a phone call. This is your transmission lever control here. So you push up to go into reverse, down to go into drive, and you push the button in for park. Of course, for those all to work, you need to have your foot on the brake. Just below your transmission lever is the button for you to go into four wheel drive. Now, I typically like to just pull over to go into four wheel drive. 
you have to be going under seven miles per hour to go into four wheel drive and then you just push this button and hold and you can go into four wheel drive. This is the low mode button and I would use this when I'm traveling in the mountains up and down. Keyless ignition, so I just press it once. I'll go into accessory mode. Press again, I go into ignition mode. And now if I want to start, I'm just going to press the brake and the button starts right up. And then to turn it off, brake, button, and it's off. You don't always have to go through the accessory mode and ignition mode, but sometimes you, I like to do that. So if you just want to get in, start your van, then hit your brake and the button, hold it in, and it will start. I'm not going to go through this whole screen again because we just did that, but the one thing I do want to show you is that if you are constantly wanting to get to your radio quickly, you may want to change the icons that you see up here. So I'm going to take my radio and I want to pull that and have that be the first button on my screen and then just set it. So it's super easy to customize that screen. Just below my screen, I can go to a quick buttons here for my camera and I can change the view that I'm seeing for my camera. And look how nice and clear that camera is. You'll even be able to see that when I'm uh, doing my test drive in reverse. Quickly go to my telephone, my nav, radio, back to my home button, my mute button or turn this off, scanning the radio, and then my vehicle. Quick information here and then I can just push button through if I want to. Little storage spot, great place for the cell phone while you're driving. AC control, so heat and cool. And our fan speed, just set it to auto, AC, direct direction that we want that fan to blow, our hazards, our front defrost, and then we can recirculate the air inside the van or not, and our rear defrost. Great cup holders, big and a small for captain and co-captain. Just below the cup holders, USB-C charging port and a 12 volt outlet. And then for some reason, if you ever come back to your van and your keys aren't sinking, you can reset the fob by inserting it into that little slot right there. Let it sit there, pull it out and everything should work good. Across the top of the dash, we have more cup holders and more little cubby spaces, which I love. So four more cup holders. Right in the center of the dash, some more bonus features. 12 volt outlet, USB-C for mirroring, so your screen up front will mirror what your phone has on it. And then two USBs for charging. And then this is really nice because this is a cordless charging station. So just lay your phone down and start charging. All right, we've got nice grab bars. In case you're really going off-road 4 by 4 ing and you get a little out of control, hang on. <laughs> this is maybe even more so for the passenger. I really want the driver to keep their, their hands on the steering wheel. <laughs> so don't, go, don't, don't get that crazy. Then we've got our sun visor. We've got little pockets here. And then nice little storage area above the visor. And we've got that on both sides, the grab bar, storage, and sun visor. Here in the center, we've got the lights, so we can illuminate this whole area. Or you can do the reading light on each side. Reading light for driver, reading light for passenger. And then this will just determine whether the lights come on uh, when you open your door or not. So if you press it, they won't. If you keep that unpressed, they will come on. This will put in a call to Mercedes service and then this is your SOS button. So it's kind of, so if someone doesn't accidentally hit this, they cover it, and then you would push the red button for help in an, in an emergency. Sunglass case. Here in the passenger seat, they've given really nice space here for extra manuals or books, whatever. You could put your iPad in there. Also wanted to talk about the air vent. So it's open now. If I want to close it, I turn it and that will close the air vent. So if you can direct it, 
open it, closed. I forgot to mention this on the driver's seat, but you can extend this cushion so to make it a little bit more comfortable for you if you like that to the side of the seat there are circuit breakers and just below the circuit breakers is the jack i went ahead and set up the blackout shades for the front cap look how nice they they block out the light so these are great for at night when you just want your privacy but during the day they're nice too because they help insulate the coach and keep the heat out they're super easy to do. Little trick to your side ones is you have a D for driver's side and it will say P on the passenger side. The front is all one piece. It just goes in super easy. The little split is right here behind the rear view mirror and then you just bring your visors down to hold that into place. So to put up the driver's side, I'm just gonna open the door. It gives me a little bit more space to work with. And then there's magnets, you can fill that magnet and I'm just going to put it into place and then you can really now it's staying really nice I really don't have to have my door open but now I can shut it it's going to become even more of a tight secure seal on this blackout shade so look how nice and dark it is once I've got all the shades up before we get started I'm just going to get comfortable in my seat here get the now the armrest you just lift up to the appropriate level and then if you need to reset it you go all the way back and then get it to where it's comfy there we go and same with the steering column you can telescope this raise it lower it so i'm going to push it back a little bit bring it down got our seat belts on and again seat, seat controls are right up here so i go forward and back all right i'm ready to hit the road so I'm excited to take you out in the era. This is again, luxury, stylish entertainer. So let's see how it drives. So have I ever mentioned that your trip starts when you get behind the steering wheel when you have an RV? Because I've got all the comforts of home with me, my bed, my kitchen, my bathroom, and then look at where I'm at. It just opens up so many options to you. You've got to come and test drive the era. It's going to take you in so many places that you wouldn't be able to get to in a bigger, you know, class A diesel. And a lot of times buyers for this product are coming from a luxurious class A diesel, but they don't want to have that size anymore. This gives you all those comforts and luxuries, but in a much smaller footprint. And it's nice and quiet, easy to drive, easy to park. You're not going to have those fights when you're backing into the campgrounds. So many selling points, but we've got safety features on this, adaptive cruise control, collision mitigation, blind spot monitoring, lane assist, um, traffic, sign assist, and then my favorite, the one where, you know, when it can tell when I'm getting sleepy, when I'm starting to do this, that's my kids know I'm getting sleepy. <laughs> so it's going to detect that and tell me to stop, get a drink, get a cup of coffee, take a break. So. Mercedes and Winnebago, between the two of them, they're all about letting you enjoy this lifestyle longer, staying safe and keeping you on the road. Now, the only way for you to really experience this is to come out to National Indoor RV Centers and take an era for a test drive. We would love to take you out. We feel like that's super important when you're making your decision. Um, these RVs cost a lot of money, so we want you to be happy. We want you to be happy with what you get. And we do everything in our power to make it easy for you. We do financing. You can finance this for up to 20 years. How about that? So you've got to live in it if you want to. Uh, we do financing. We take in trades, consignments. We do direct buys. So just pick up the phone. Give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers. And we will be happy to help you and make this a really pleasant experience. So I'm driving along. I've got my cruise control set and beautiful beautiful scenery around me. You're probably wondering what the decibel reader says, right? If you've watched my videos before. So 65.2. Nice and quiet. Like I said, the only way for you to really see what this is like is to come give one for a test drive with National Indoor RV Centers. Now I'm sure you're wondering what it will cost you to get into this beautiful era. MSRP is 184.131. Now, if you want to find out what I can sell it to you for, please give us a call at 
877-277-1330 or visit our website, nirbc.com. We are waiting to help you. Or you can email me, Angie at nirbc.com. We want to help you get into the lifestyle as quickly and easily as you can. And remember, with our volume and economies of scale, RVs simply cost less at National Indoor RV Centers. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe. Also, go and check out my Winnebago factory tour video. You won't be disappointed. Also, RVing 101 series, especially if you're new to RVing, you'll love that. And also, if you ever get a boo-boo on your coach, make sure NIRVC is your first call. Check out my paint and body video. Thanks so much for spending this time with me today. I hope you've enjoyed it and have a wonderful day.